as I said earlier, that uh, Anglo-Saxon alliterative verse makes everything better. Harsh that herring for Houston the Raven. Fools had enfeebled the fortress at Bayar, leaving it looted and lacking the while. Hordes were sweeping swift on his lands, hell-bent to crush him. The canny old prince did not, though, despair at dangers on rushing. Hardy he held it, pursued it, reading each rune of it. Riders, he rasped, to race after Bowie. Bowie, he barked as that bear cat of heroes bowed down before his beloved prince. Bayar must be ours, or no man shall have it. So high tail, burn leather, hold me that fortress, or fire it and raise it. Do what you can, or else do what you must. Fame has her foster leans free of the limits, boxing all others, and Bowie was one of them. Who has not heard of that home gang at Natchez? Fifty were warriors, but he fought the best, wielding a long knife. A nun such of daggers worthy of whale in that weapon and chewed the entrails of dusts. In diverse pitched battles he had been leader, winning such treasures by land and by sea. The trolls, it is said, closed up their hills out of fear he'd frisk them of silver. Racing now westward, he rode to Bayar, gathered his garrison, gave them his orders. Houston the Raven is racing a host. Time's what he needs while he tempers an army. Never give up this gate to our lands. Hold the door fast, though death comes against us. Kind of thing is blocked two odd starmings and bled them to death. But the third, the drive of Thor's mighty hammer, roared at the walls and rose to spill over, winning the fort. The foemen must pay. Heroes are waiting. Hardy. Shaken no wit, though sure they were lost. Ten lives for one was the terra frentry, and no man got credit. Cornered and hopeless, they strove while they stood, stabbing and throttling, meeting a bear's death, dying while fighting. Chieftains of prowess, not chary of slaying lead, fell with them. Alone by the wall, Travis the red mane, though pierced through the paint and pouring out blood, kept death marking time, defied it till his sword again sank, sucking blood from foemen. Content then he ended. So also died Crockett who shaved with a star and stamped to make earthquakes. Kimball, leader of loyal riders. Barnum, whose vow was valor's own hallmark. Praised by their losses, the conquerors offered no truce to cadavers. The corpses were stabbed and hoped that life's spark would be spared before them seconds on killing. Then some, taking count, bawled out that Bowie was balking them still. Like weasels through warrens, they wound to the fort hunting the hero they hated the most. Least of the lucky, at last someone found him, fettered to bed by a fever and dying, burnt up and shrunken, a shred of himself. Gladly they rushed him. But glee became panic, for up from the gripe of the grave, gripping weapons, gizzards being rose to wreak his last slaughter. Killing though killed, conquered, he won. In brief was the death lay of Bowie the leader, who laid down his life for his lord and ring giver, Holding the doorway for Houston the Raven, that pearl among princes, who paid in the sequel, never was vassal avenge of more slains.